Hi, my name is Betty Suman, and I'm here to introduce to you some tools that we use for making clay works or clay products. The tool I have in my hand is called a cutting wire. It's made of a metal wire with wooden handles at the end. And it's used for cutting off wax on the potter's field when you have finished throwing. And it's also used for cutting clay into slices when you are wedging or looking for unwanted materials from the clay. So here is a closer look. This is a cutting wire. The next tool I have is called a modeling tool. It is used when you want to model a clay or you want to get a clay work done. This helps in shaping and then designing on the clay work, clay work as well. The next tool I have in my hand is called a kidney. Yeah, the kidney is used to cut the base of a work thrown on the potter's wheel and for shipping as well. So this is a kidney. And then there's another modeling tool. They come in various sizes and then ships. So here are three different sizes and then ships as well. The next tool I have here is called cutting pin cutting pin. These pins are used when throwing a piece on the potter's wheel and you want to cut the top of the work. As it goes round, you use this tool called a cutting pin to cut off the unwanted part. And then these three tools I have in my hand are called um, turning tools. They are used for turning on the potter's wheel. Turning here means that after the, the clay work that has been thrown is leather hard and you want to shape it or get the bottom of the work, you use this tool to remove the unwanted part to get the shape of that thrown piece. And then you have a ruler here. Mm -hmm. Ruler is for shaping and then for straightening the work and then a foam. This foam is used to remove excess water from the thrown piece and it's used for smoothing the work as well. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how, how wedging is done. Wedging is done to remove unwanted materials or particles from the clay and to get the clay very smooth before you use. So I have a piece here, a piece of clay here with me and I'm going to wedge it. Before I wedge, I'll need my cutting wire to cut into sizes to check for unwanted material from the clay so the cutting wire is held this way you hold the two ends to stretch it and then you slice it through the clay and remove the clay and then you look for test with your the tips of your finger to see if there are any foreign material yeah this is smooth okay this has a little particle in here yeah so if you leave these particles in the clay, it will disturb the work. And then when the work is dry, it will cause breakage or cracks in the work. So it needs to be removed so that you get a very good clay work. Yes, another one found so hard. And it will disturb the process of making the clay work. So this, any work that you have to produce using clay has to go through this process to check if there are any unwanted materials or unwanted particles in it. So this is the work of the cutting wire to slice the clay. Yeah. So you feel it with the tips of your fingers. Once there's an unwanted material, will be hard and then we'll remove it from the clay so i'm getting the clay ready for the production uh, i'd like to make a pinched pot with this clay yeah here's an unwanted material but before i start to produce my pinched pot i'll need to wedge and the pot i'm doing right now is called wedge the next step after this procedure is called kneading. Now, 
kneading is done to remove air that is trapped in the clay and it is done with the edges of your palm here you exert pressure on the clay and as you exert pressure on the clay unwanted air bubbles in the clay will burst or if it's not done the air will be trapped in the clay and after the production of the work the air uh, during the drying state it will crack or when you are farming it will crack as well so this is the process of kneading you put the clay and then with the edges of your palm you press into the clay and as you do it you rotate it as well so this process is breaking all the air bubbles in the clay so you do this for some time to remove the air and then when it is done then it can be used for any work so this is the process that a clay goes through before any work is produced out of the clay otherwise if this is not done the work will crack or break during firing or drying so as this process goes on creates a very beautiful spiral design on the clay like this one yeah so you continue to knead for some time to make sure that the clay has become homogeneous well mixed smooth and then no air bubbles so i'm going to demonstrate to you how bleaching is done okay yeah it's okay now so i like to take a piece of it roll it into a ball because you are going to make a pinched pot pinching well here is the first step in pinching you first roll it into a ball very round smooth ball and then you hold it in your palm and then with your thumb this is my thumb you dip it into the clay to create a hole in it like this one so here pinched my clay the next step is to open it so with my thumb inside and my fingers outside I gently press to open it make it bigger you can also pull it as well with this method as you rotate and open then you stretch it upwards to pull it that is if you want the height of the pot to increase that's what you do you open so the first step is to roll into a bowl that's after kneading then you pinch with your thumb and then you open with your thumb and your fingers outside in making a pinched pot you must make sure that the base is stable so that when you put it down it will stand and it will not fall so this is my pinched pot after this stage you want to design or decorate it or if you want it smooth dip your foam into water it's already wet then you smoothen it around the wick to make it very smooth or if you want to design you wait till it's leather hard and then you use your modeling tool or your cutting tool to cut out the design you want so this is a pinched box and this is the process you go through to produce a pinched box thank you